Hello, everyone. This is Press Play Radio, and we have an interview for you. Indeed. This time we're on camera. Yeah, b- bit of a change of pace from our normal uh, studio setting. Uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, before we really start this interview, we prepared scripts. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, we don't want you guys to be oh. worried or nervous about this. We're very professional, hard-hitting journalism <laughs> show, so we, we want you guys to be prepared for everything. Where's the rest of the <laughs> situation? Where's the paper? No, 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 what are you talking about? There's, there's, a, there's a blank page. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole blank page. This page is double-sided. Folks, folks, it, it, you know, it's, just, it's all about being prepared. You, know? you speak for the trees. For contact, it just says, say whatever you want. Uh, oh, really it was a blank page. You didn't even read it? <laughs> Why would I read it? Why wouldn't you? So read technically, it? this is scripted. Okay. Yes, this is scripted. <laughs> Understand. Uh, everything is planned. So, if everyone can say your name, uh, what you do in the band, and a fun fact. Uh, hello, everyone. We are Speedbump. Uh, my name is Jabron. I usually do like Latin percussion, and I also do most of like the managing for the band. Hi, my name's Irvin Barquez. Um, I'm mainly the singer and piano pianist, but I also play bass sometimes. And I love cats. That's very important. Hi, my name is Austin, and I play the guitar for this band. I also play bass sometimes and do a bit of backing vocals. And I've moved here from uh, Kuwait four years ago. My name is Angel. I'm the drummer for the band, and I'm the only Hispanic person in this room. My name is Jazz, uh, I'm the bassist, and fun fact about me is I play the tuba. Yeah. Um, Patrick Flores, um, I just play whatever they ask me to. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact, I'm in K-5B, Rush next semester. So, here at Press Play, we pride ourselves on our hard-hitting journalism. So, we wanted to ask a question to really try to get to know you. What's your candidate event? Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Our oh can of oh oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do so we all want to take turns? I mean, we, like I think we all have a different idea of what the canon of that. I guess we could all go. Do you want to yeah, go first? Okay. I, um. So two things. Like we started in like senior year of high school marching band, mm-hmm. right? Like it was just the three of us. We were kind of just jamming out, and then one of our freshmen took a picture of me dragging Angel on a skateboard, and that was like a really really hard looking photo, and we're like. Let's just send it. And then it all went downhill from there because just like, we don't have a single picture of all six of us in the same photo. I actually had a hard time figuring out how many of you were actually in the band. <laughs> yeah, because like you said, there's not a very consistent. It's very consistent. Okay, so basically, um, we've gained quite a bit of fame on YouTube. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. 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 Do you okay. want to plug that? Do you want to plug that? Yeah, let's plug the YouTube. Yeah, we, we got to plug the YouTube. Mm-hmm. So um, basically, uh, we won our high school's talent show, and it's gained us like a lot of views. Like I think it's almost it's around two hundred eighty k. Yes. And um, that's what motivated us to keep playing together. Yeah. And just be as a band in general. You want to say how much money we got from that? Oh, we got 80 bucks. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 That's, that's passive income. income. That's, yeah. that's a lot of money for a high school talent show. <laughs> it is. It is. Well, this is the actually, one Yeah, where... the talent show, we made like 100 bucks off of winning. Okay. So we like doubled our income. And then mm-hmm. the ad revenue from uh, Actually, we okay. still like 25 each. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Nice, nice. Is this the talent show performance where we perform Creep? Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, there's another talent show video that gained a good amount of views okay. with just clips of Dovers. That was yeah. pre. That was yeah. pre. Yeah, that was pre speed bump. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I I watched. I did the deep dive on the YouTube. Really appreciated the group performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It was this ID addressing mm-hmm. like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I saw the vision. Yes. Yeah, I was just, yeah. <laughs> like for context, we were given a choice of who to interview for Battle of the Bands, mm-hmm. and so we did our research. And you know, when we heard your song, your hit song that you have mm-hmm. published. Instantly we were like, all right, this is, <laughs> yes. this is the cream of the crop. We, we could have chosen anyone, we chose you. You know what? I, I appreciate that yeah. so much, man. Now that we're on that, <laughs> now we're on that topic, do you want to explain, Irvin, the oh, yeah. song? Yeah, we were actually, we were going to ask you about that. How did you, how did you decide to put out uh, your hit single, Mao. Mao? Okay, so I had a spark of creation when Gibran forced me to make an April Fool song that week. And, and you don't know me, like, I'm really, like, I had, like, a profound interest in, like, cats. So Gibran, I thought, like, I should make 
a song based around cats. And so what I did first is like I took a cat sample and then I mutilated it by like pitching all of it. So I made a cat keyboard. And then from there on, Oscillator joined on, and then that's how it was made. Okay. Any specifics about it? Uh, we were hoping to do a genius lyric breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you want to explain? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can break it down for us. So the only lyrical part was in our bridge. Uh, we were trying to come up with ways and to like convey like our love of cats. Mm -hmm. And so me and Austin decided to do a cat conversation. And the vision I had was like a divorce settlement between like an abusive husband and like this frail like uh, wife who was going to leave because she's getting abused. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, like Austin's like more high pitch meow. Okay. And I was like more like meow, 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 meow. Right. right. Meow, 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 meow. And then that's how we made that scene. And I think it was painted beautifully. I think the I felt that performance. It was really there. Was it? it touched, there? Yeah, it touched my heart. Like you mm -hmm. can, you can really tell the emotion conveyed in the meow. You know? mm -hmm. Like no one can make the same meow as we did. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. W when I heard the sampling that was incorporated with the Roblox yeah. sound effects and the Minecraft yeah. sound effects, I was just like, this band is full of genius. Yes, that's right. At, yes. at bare minimum, it prompted. Okay, even if we don't end up interviewing them, we still need to t message them somehow about this. Be like, hey, what? <laughs> just to ask. What was just going to, through? Yeah, mind. just to see what was going on behind the and through the psyche of it. So I want so like. The idea was to like make like a, you know like those meme songs where like they have a bunch of random samples. Mm -hmm. So one of my first ideas was to, when I was searching through samples, I found this sample called Women Grunting. And originally I was gonna use it, but then what happened was like I had to pay for it. Yeah. And so I just searched it up on YouTube, which led to tennis woman grunting. And then I found this clip of this woman saying, hi, my name is this, I'm number 1,155 in the world. And I thought that would be such a good like intro mm -hmm. starter. Right, and then right. I found a cat soundboard mm -hmm. with one of this meow, it was like a really deep meow. It's like, that's how I want it. And then after that, it just like, we kept, we were originally gonna add more like sound effects, but Javron thought yeah. it was a bit excessive. I think that it's like in a very nice spot. Mm -hmm. um, it was fun. Mm -hmm. They did want to add a bunch of other stuff. No metal bar, surprisingly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> metal rod? Yeah. Metal nice. pipe falling sound effect? Yeah. That, was not, that was not on the list. Mm -hmm. And but the bass line is fire. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want to explain the binary code that's on the album cover? Oh yeah, the binary code. Oh yes, please go into the artwork. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so basically, like when you're making it, uh, it kind of gives like a very like game-esque like retro feel. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see that in like the cover photo that like there's like the glitched cat, mm -hmm. right? On, kind of, on like, the just, branch. Yeah, just going through it emotionally. And then in between both of the branches, it says April Fools. Um, and then obviously just mount on the side. It's very simple, very simplistic, but uh, I think that a lot of the covers that we do have that we plan on posting for like new songs, a lot of them have like a really in-depth kind of like look and artsy type vibe. Um, so when we do get to that point, I think the merch would be fire and you mm -hmm. should buy some. Ooh! Yes. Yeah. We're planning on releasing our first EP, I think somewhere around like late June. Yeah. Is that an exclusive? Is that an exclusive you put that out anywhere? I don't think uh, we did. Okay, that's an exclusive. That's a press play exclusive, folks. <laughs> so, with your award winning work, mm, yes. uh, your new hit single, why do you think you're going to win the OIC's Battle of the Bands? Um, you think that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> I don't know. I I just joined like a month. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have, have to say that. You, you have to say that. I, well, I mean, it's the truth. Like, so everything they've said, like about the whole cat thing. Yeah. Like, this is the first time I've heard it. Okay. So I right. like so you can really tell the communication. Every have, every yeah. time I look at the Discord, they always surprise me, and, and that is that is good and bad. Okay. So I, I'm just learning from that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so you y'all communicate on Discord. Yeah. Okay. Very, 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 very heavily. Very yes. I yes. Thank you. I'm almost every single. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. It's not our strong suit. Yeah. All right. With all the music that you're putting out, what what can we maybe expect? Could you tease us 
what we can expect from a performance oh. of you. Nothing like okay, it now. Nothing like that. Nothing, nothing like that. Like right. Wow. <laughs> so, um, <Yeah>. basically, <laughs> what, what most of us do is that um, we're, we're mainly like jazz influenced, okay. but we also like to expand onto different genres like bop, like uh, funk, and a bit of rock elements. Because, like, um, all of us here have like different tastes in music. Mm -hmm. So, um, we try to like combine uh, these genres to make our own sound of it. We're also like, um, like me and Irvin are huge improvisers, mm -hmm. so um, it, it's we kind of like make stuff on the spot a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Like going off of that, I think that we can expect is kind of just like a much more powerful and like cohesive like kind of song that you're gonna be like. I, we want it to like be felt in like the soul, you know? Mm -hmm. Like we want you to like groove to it, move to it. Um, and we're really excited to like put it out because there's like no sample of it anywhere on the internet. Uh, we've been trying to keep it like completely under wraps. Okay. So. Gotcha. A lot of our songs are sad though, so you should. They're That's oh, yeah. mainly my fault. I'm like. 100%. I'm the main lyric writer for like the band. Um, so. So you've gone through the most canon. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah. Definitely even say though that. you're not a very depressed person, that's what okay. Ooh, that's on the outside. Duality? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's on the outside. Yeah. I, I like uh, writing sad songs when I'm happy. That was like two months ago. But oh, you're um, sad, I'm sorry. Basically, like I'm an incredibly put together person, mm -hmm. but just like when I put my like pen to paper, it's like just the most sad, weird garbage just flows. Um, it's like that kind of like comfy Asian slop type thing, like I don't know, like Leve, the that would be Bruno Ma uh, Bruno Major. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 A lot of the songs do have a kind of sad-esque vibe. Okay. We're trying to turn that around for the summer, but the first EP is going to be like a little bit depressing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, okay. So, going into that space, going into that music, how do you envision the ideal listening experience for your work? Like, tell me, when you create this art, where do you envision the fans listening to this? Is it like under the covers, headphones, blasting? Uh, in like the dead of night? Is it like bumping it in the car with the friends? Is it at a party? Like, what do you, where's your headspace at? I feel like most of our songs are like more personal, so I feel like a more personal environment would probably be the most appropriate part yes. of our listening experience. Like, okay. whether it be like studying or like just relaxing in your house or sure. whatever, or just doing something really personal, like singing in the shower. I feel like that's probably the most ideal listening experience to our music because it's more it's as Gibran you know writes the music it comes from his from his soul and he wants you to feel in his soul so it's honestly more a personal experience right yeah I yeah. would say that like our ability to perform live is probably one of our strongest suits yeah. okay um so like this is the first time that we're like doing like a bunch of recording stuff mm -hmm. and like kind of making it like studio recording as otherwise all of our experience in the past has been live performance yeah uh we've done a bunch of that in the past so like i'd say that the feeling that you'd get from listening to our songs which is already like a wide variety of genres on like headphones on like your phone versus going in person and seeing it live is going to be two very different experiences yeah mm -hmm. very conflicting experiences yeah. you know, yeah. talking about the live performances you are all aware that one of the grand prize parts of competing and winning Battle of the Bands is that you get to be part of Spark this year. So what is your band's concert experience? How would you describe it? How do you envision it? So uh, mainly we, like um, me, Irvin, Angel are like theater kids and choir mm -hmm. kids. So we've had lots of experience like performing live. Right. And um, yeah, other than experience, so we we also have like great stage presence and, and um, you pretty much just enjoy what we do. Mm -hmm. Cause like um, when you're on stage, um, you want to make the most out of it. And so for like the non-theater kids, <laughs> what are y'all doing on stage? <laughs> 
Well, me yeah. specifically, mm -hmm. like I've I've done like solos and stuff, but it's it's very classical. Okay. So um, me and Austin were actually working on it. Like I have no stage presence. Like I can sit there and play my instrument, but I don't know how to move. I just kind of look like a like a stick. You know what I mean? Kind of um, just like a static figure on stage. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. That that's intentional. That's part of the art. You. Well, the, that is a stage process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's I don't. I don't want to look boring, though. You know. Yeah. So. For sure. But um. You're not boring. Yeah, you're not boring. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're, 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 in a, you're in a band. You're doing live performances. I, yeah. You're participating in USC's Battle of the Bands. That's obviously putting you at least one, a couple levels above just boring. Yeah. Status. True. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a reason why we chose you, dude. Oh yeah. Thank you. Because, because we that. because all of us here love you, dude. Cool. And if we met you in high know, school rather than college, you would have been in. Oh, exactly. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Because here's the thing, you mm -hmm. might, you might be kind of introverted and, and all that, but, you have passion for music. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why um, we want to keep going with you. It's not about stage presence. It's yeah. about the person you are. Yeah. Yeah. That's so touching. You know, we haven't heard a lot from Patrick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah he's what do y'all want to hear? <laughs> well, you're, obviously, you you're obviously like the lady killer, you know, you're in a frat. Yeah. Relax. You know? <laughs> hey, if I was a girl, I would be funny. Oh, Relax. <laughs> this is part of your transition. They make the music. <laughs> they make the music. Mm -hmm. They send it to me. Okay. They tell me what instrument to play. Okay. And then I'll tell them when I'm off work, which is like never now. Mm. But then so I. You're always on the grind. Yes. Of course. Yeah. These are breadwinner. Okay. Yeah. So he brings in a lot of the cash flow to the band right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes the most money no. out of all of us. Fair enough. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 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 They make the music, I learn it, I show up, and I play it. Gotcha. We yes. have a very chaotic, uh, like, yes. how we work together. Because mm -hmm. most of the time, when we rehearse, which is usually just on Fridays, mm -hmm. it'd just mm -hmm. be me, Austin, and Irvin. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, it's just the three of us. Sometimes Jabron comes in. When he's free from UIC, okay. sometimes jazz as well. Gotcha. But it's pretty. It's it's kind of it kind of amazes me how much we've gotten done just by like how sporadic we are with our rehearsals and how many people are at a rehearsal at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think our chemistry is actually pretty good for what we've done. So just a couple of you know I know we're keeping it things light, keeping things sociable. Uh, so I want to ask just kind of kind of a couple. Feel good questions. What's your biggest guilty pleasure song? Because everyone's, everyone's got one. Everyone's got one. Thank you, next. Ariana Grande. Oh, oh respect. God. Respectable. Respectable. Oh. I have to think about that. Let me oh. check. Oh. I gotta check my Spotify real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. For me, it's definitely a love, a glue, glue song by Biva Doobie. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I've been listening to that on repeat a lot. Mm. And it's actually gotten me through a lot in Amazon. Cause like, not gonna lie, the environment in Amazon is like not my thing. It's really chill and it's good money, but sometimes I just like sneak a piece in, in my ear mm -hmm. and then just gotcha. listen to a blue song like on repeat. But that's not like just, that's not like a guilty pleasure. That's just like a good song. That is a good song. Okay, that but is a good song. Okay, it's gotten you through the Bezos times. Yeah, it it does. I got mine. Okay, shake it off. It's in my place. Shake it off. Thank you. Shake it off. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I'm tired of the slander. Are you okay? I'm tired. Kanye's good, but Taylor, dude, Taylor's good. Taylor's good. She deserved. She deserved to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> she. She carried the team. She carried the Chiefs. Was it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I forgot that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taylor's version. Taylor's version. Yeah, Taylor's version, not the greedy corporation one. Yeah. The greedy corporate mix. <laughs> yeah. My favorite song that yeah. I listen to is Love by Keisha Cole. Okay. And I never knew what she was until I saw like that that Kaisenet clip of him singing it. Oh, and then, like I found it online. I was like, wait, this is actually a really good song. And yeah. so I just put that on for like months on end. Gotcha. So, yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, um, can I cry again? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sure, but, yeah. Okay, this is a really bad one, but I love Pork and Beans by Weezer. You okay. know what? I respect I just, it. I, just, right. I, respect I respect it. it. I, just, wow. I respect it. I respect it. I just like, I just like, it's just, it's just so corny, but for some reason I find myself liking it. 
I, I, I don't know why, but there, that, that's, that's my actual guilty pleasure song. Okay, okay. Like, I grew up with it. That's a good guilty pleasure song. Yeah, it is. Uh, if I had to give my unserious answer, I'd say Mao. But <laughs> that's not a guilty pleasure, that's a pleasure in itself. <laughs> right. Oh, yes. um, sure, so sure. I, I think my Highly actual pleasure, pleasure, pleasure would probably be Amsterdam from Imagine Dragons. Just Ooh, because there's a lot of nostalgia. Like yeah. There's so much nostalgia like I get from listening to that. Yes, yes. I mean, Max is a big fan of Imagine Dragons. Oh, yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's why it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, there's guilty pleasure in it. Uh, for me, as of right now, I would say Poetry by the RH Factor. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but like, it's very kind of a mix of jazz and like funk and R&B. Um, Erica Badu is in it, Q-Tip from A Tribe Called Quest is in it. Um, what's his name? There's a famous trumpet player in it. I, I forget his name, but he's really good. He's in it. Um, yeah, that's my, uh, my guilty pleasure. Okay, all right. Uh, we're coming near the end of our time here, so uh, we're, we're going to ask you one question uh, and then go from there. Uh, the question is, what's next? This is the time to give us all your shameless plugs. Okay. <laughs> tell it all. Tell the cameras. Uh, this camera, that camera. Tell the world I'll what you got. First, if you want a sneak peek for Battle of the Bands, April 19th. Okay. There's going to be Imagine Asian here at UIC. We're going to be performing there, All right. uh, both at the start and the intermission, so you can get a few sneak peeks. Um, we're also going with a friend of ours named Ella Wooden. Um, I'm not sure if she has any socials that she'd want to plug. But Ella Offstage, I think. Ella Offstage. Yeah, on Instagram. Instagram. Um, besides that, our YouTube, Speed Bump, if you look in channels, it's like the third one. Yeah. Um, or Spotify, you're probably not going to be able to find it. If you type in Mal Speed Bump, might be able to. Um, he did find it. He did find it. Oh, yeah. That's sure. crazy. I, I <laughs> listener. I, I'm a monthly listener now. Yeah. <laughs> you thought follow so much. When you asked us, like, oh, if, is there like any kind of like promotional material, like like photos or like song samples you want to send us? Um, we thought he sent you guys Mao. Why would you think that? <laughs> because um, you told. You said that you'd do it. Yeah, you I, I have told to know. Yeah. <laughs> we have to know. We were very embarrassed Guys, when we found you, out. Why would I do something there's, like there's that? There's no chance. Because you were silent in the Discord group chat. Because I don't, I don't text. <laughs> I respond like half of the time. <laughs> okay. I, I just dip in and dip out. Um, yeah, anything else that we want to plug? Uh, I mean, did you already said the Instagram? I mean. It's just speed bump. Yeah. It speed bump no, it's speed bumpers. Speed bumpers. Speed bumpers, yeah, it's, right. it's speed speed bumpers, bumpers. but like no battles. Yeah, no battles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, we also got upcoming covers and um, yes. or original, so stay tuned for that as well. Mm. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and oh, the one art. song. Each individual member. Oh, my God! Amazing. What is happening? Oh, my God! I should not have listened to you. I would have bored that. Explain the gram. We got it all. Oh we got it all. You guys are oh oh my God. God. You gotta know these things. We gotta know. What? <laughs> That's not in your mind. No. <laughs> so do we. Oh. Wrong. Okay. Yeah, so um, far, me and Jazz, me and Jazz are the only people. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm cutting the UIC. Oh, yeah. No way. Speed bump. Jazz Dude, that was so hype when Let's I got go. that Viking McQueen. So that's. Oh, that's. Yes. Yeah. So that's. That's, that's actually crazy. Did you just stream out, everyone. Stream out. Stream out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real thing. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Flash Alien Fingers. Great, yeah. great inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, my guitar solo was inspired by this guy on Instagram that me and Urban uh, said as like uh, an inside joke. His name is Flash Alien Fingers, and you can tell that there's so much emotion going on. So, me being like a peasant at guitar, <laughs> yes. I, I cannot, I cannot replicate his sound, but that's the best I could do in the song Mao. And um, it's basically a homage to Flash Alien Fingers. All right, cool. And that is the end of our script. Thank you. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, we got it. We got to it. We, we sure. have been press play. They have been speed bump. Uh, <laughs> check them out at Battle of the Bands. Imagination. Peace. Yeah. Uh,